Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the Emotion V5F. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. This is for sure not a high performance wheel by any means, but it's a pretty good all-rounder. Let me explain. It has a 550 watt nominal power motor. Peak is around 1500 watts. The battery is a 84 volt unit around 320 watt hours. So the range probably in this weather like right now where it's 5 to 10 degrees Celsius is around 20-25 kilometers in the summer probably around 30. Actually it's my personal wheel it's the first wheel I bought and I had some issues with it because maybe this unit had a little bit of trouble. I had a burnt out motherboard um, twice so that was a bit of an issue but now it's working fine. All thanks to the wonderful people at cleverboard.pl who revived this wheel. When it comes to the construction, you have a light in the front, light, well visible light in the back. You have also these like cool um, blue lights. They're really well visible in the night. A battery indicator right here and a touch enabled switch here. So you can turn on the light, turn on or off the wheel by holding this button. I wish this was a regular button. Sometimes I just want to turn on the light and it just does not work. And it has speakers, but sadly the speakers are only for system sounds. And yes, you can configure all the sounds in this wheel. So for example, if you're going too fast, you might just change the danger. You're going too fast to something like this. It's all configurable. I really like it. It's all padded up on the sides, but it's really a beautiful wheel. The pedals are high up. I really like it. It's uh, a lot better, for example, than in the MCM5. Probably similar to King Song wheels. They're also angled, so it gives you a really nice grip. And even for light off-roading, the wheel performs really well. Here we have a 20 grade steep hill, uh, 20 degrees. And now we're gonna test if the Emotion can handle it. <laughs> Not the smallest issue. So now we have to step it up a little. Okay, so here it's around 25 degrees, so it should be a little harder for the emotion. Probably here. Yeah, here it's even 30. <laughs> oh. With a little practice, it can also handle 30 degrees hills. So I got challenged by Krzysiu, who is behind the camera. Let's see if it can handle this hill. <laughs> oh, power! Wow! You can also clear higher curbs as the construction of the wheel um, does not hit against the curb. It just hits against the wheel, so that's fine. And it's actually really good for performing stunts. Just check out uh, Side Street Rennie. On Instagram, he has one of the most ridiculous tricks on the solo wheel or Emotion V5F. It has also this nice padding on either side. Sadly for me, it doesn't uh, give me that much support as the wheel is just really thin. It's really good for portability as you're going, for example, in a subway. It just doesn't take up any space and you can put it pretty much everywhere. It can actually fit into a Tesla trunk. Thank you. 
it's really nice about the wheel but it's harder to grip it and here on the lower side you can see that um, it might hurt your ankles a little so just get higher shoes or put some padding in here uh, that might just solve this issue it also has a lift sensor as you could see really nice it has a trolley handle which is also higher than on my Nikola so so locks in place if you crash somewhere it just it might just bend but these parts are really easy to swap and as a side note it's actually easier to trolley this thing around backwards in this direction here you can also see the charge board it's a Lenovo style connector it, the wheel charges in around two and a half hours from zero to hundred percent so really quick faster than for example Xiaomi scooters at uh, this price point I wish it has some side lights uh, on here to make it more visible in the night but there's also a white version which is um, better visible uh, and for this price point and this wheel is sometimes on sale for around $350 which is quite ridiculous it's pretty much the best bang on the buck uh, in the market because even a xiaomi scooter costs pretty much the same but has a smaller battery and certainly is inferior in its climbing abilities and perhaps also range and portability pretty much in every aspect also has a two level tilt bag. On the first level it will just tilt you back a little to indicate that you are reaching the top speed and on the second level it will actually inform you with a voice message that you are overpowering the device. You can also adjust how strong these pedals are um, connected because you have a screw here to just make them go out easier or harder. And there are also covered in grip, grip tape, really nice pedals. Maybe they're not the biggest ones, but for a small wheel again, it should be totally fine. You can also inflate the tires easily. Oh, here. In some areas, it is a more stripped out version of a wheel though, mainly in the configuration. So you can calibrate the wheel, which is nice. So the Bluetooth speakers cannot transmit the music from your phone, which is a bummer. A good thing is that it can always show you the battery percentage uh, when, you, when it's connected to, to a wall plug. So that's even not available in higher end wheels, but you cannot adjust the pedal sensitivity. Oh, here you can also see the mug guard. Uh, it's totally fine to ride this thing in the rain. Actually, a friend of mine, Norbert J, uh, has uh, ridden this wheel all year. It, he, uh, he has 8,000 kilometers on his V5F, so it's also really robust. Uh, the construction is also really nice, no rattles, no cracks. So I think a V5F is definitely a great beginner wheel, a good uh, second wheel because I oftentimes choose it uh, above the Nikola if I want to go for a shorter distance. Really nice wheel and if you are still here then please leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.